Let's play.
was a frequent theme when we were playing is that when the goalie didn't stay home, there was always trouble. The other thing that I learned really through just playing this last night is the really good players will wait. That should have went in. They'll wait until you use your gun. Oh, I scored two goals in that one. That's awesome. This is by far the better of the two games, so I apologize for the best action being up front, but uh, what the good players do is they wait for you to use your gun, and they, like a second later, will counter it, and it will completely reverse the momentum of the ball. And what I have a bad habit of doing is hitting mine at the same time and basically causing like a dead ball. But every time I faced off against a player who knew what they were doing, they would wait until I fired my gun and then one second later they would bounce it right back at me. And so I was trying to pick up on some of those techniques from the people that I was playing against, but uh, mostly I just came to the conclusion that I was terrible. And with 10 seconds left, the other team scores a goal, which is garbage. Eight seconds left, six seconds left. And again, I was way too far out of the goal. But luckily, it didn't cost us. So we won that first one. And you can see that I unlocked the uh, soccer outfit for Lucio. Which is cool, because that's one of the summer game skins. That's next goal, where he went over the guy's head. That guy just missed time to jump. But I had two goals, Nick had four gold medals. So the two of us did pretty good in that one. The second match, I don't think that we fare as well. But I had two goals and three interceptions, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and we just played a bunch of matches for about an hour and a half last night. And it was a lot of fun. I was not one of those people that got on the Rocket League bandwagon. Um, but this Lucio Ball game makes me want to play Rocket League because I know that the controls and just the um, polish on that game is a lot more than this game mode in Overwatch. So I'd really like to spend some time with the Rocket League, and I think I will when it launches on the Nintendo Switch. Again, I get close, like, every time, and then... I just end up hitting the ball straight to the other team. If I had used that right jump pad more, I probably would have had an angle on the ball, but... They scored the first goal here, and I think they scored it on, I think Nick was in goal. But there's not a heck of a lot he could have done about that one. Three minutes left in the game, so plenty of time to come back. Unless you have an idiot goalie like me who lets the ball get way, way behind him. See, that's what I was talking about in the first game. Like, I was, look how far out of position I was. Which is all well and good if you make a play on the ball and you clear it out. But if you miss or you don't have the right angle, then you end up leaving your goal wide open, which is what I did. And again, I rolled another one right in front of the other goal. And then I 
missed my opportunity right there, so watching me play this game is pretty much just watching someone miss time every hit or jump or speed boost, like it's just a comedy of errors. But there are people who when this mode comes out, and it only comes out during the summer games, I believe, there are people who that's all they play. And you can tell because there was a guy in the first match that we played, and he shows up a couple other times as well, but he was amazing. And the techniques that he had and the things that he was doing, like you could just tell that he played that match all the time. And I play a lot of Lucio in the regular game matches. Oh, that was a great... Oh, it was that guy right there, that Rasta guy, was on the other team before and just switched to our team. And we ended up playing a bunch of matches with him, and he's very good. But um, as much Lucio as I play during regular Overwatch matches, that did not prepare me as well as I thought it would have for being anywhere near decent at this game. Now granted, I'm not a huge wall runner because I'm a mediocre Lucio player at best. So my skill set is not really set up for this type of game, but like I said, it's fun anyways. Um, and on the off chance that you do score a goal, it's pretty awesome. Again, I thought for sure that was going to go in. And then I missed on the putback. That's like the story of my career here with Lucio Ball. Although I will say that I wanted to play more of it. After playing for a good while last night. And Nick is much better at it than I am. Um... minute left and we're still losing, so. I really like the way that Overwatch has these temporary game modes that show up, and then before they can wear out their welcome, they're gone. I know they're planning on doing something with like a team deathmatch mode as one of the arcade modes coming up, so. I like that they kind of rotate things in and out because then it, oh, there's Nick's goal. I think it's, is it 3-2 now? I think so. Um, I, I just like that they keep rotating things in and out in that game mode, but they always have the traditional game modes that you can just go in and play, if, and you don't have to engage with any of this, but there's a good opportunity to earn some extra loot boxes if you play the arcade modes. So we try to do that at least enough to earn those loot boxes. I actually had a save there, but then I like jumped out of the goalie's box like I didn't want to be there anymore. And our furious comeback falls one goal short. So, that was a lot of fun. And I forget which goal this was. Oh, that was a great book back. Yeah, that was a good one. So, there you go. A little bit of Lucio Ball for you. If you liked this video, then please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I will be back again soon with some more Overwatch.